Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to add the LinkedIn Insight tag onto any website. Um, it's super, super simple, really easy. Um, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be anything to get concerned about. Um, if you log into your LinkedIn uh, campaign manager, um, so when you go to your LinkedIn profile, go to the advertise button that's in the right hand corner, navigate to your Camp, uh, campaign manager and then to your account that you actually want to um, install the uh, or create a LinkedIn Insight tag for. Um, it's now in the analyze um, menu drop down that's on the left hand side of the campaign manager for your account and you'll find Insight tag. Now you'll most likely see a little button if you haven't used it before that says create Insight tag and then this will bring you to this page. So you have uh, two options, essentially, really, um, well, three, if you've got a, a developer on hand, um, install the tag myself manually. So add in the code to the website uh, or using Tag Manager, or you can just send those instructions over to your developer directly. Um, in this case, we're just going to go through both of these options, install the tag myself and use a Tag Manager. Um, and we're going to start with the slightly longer one, um, which is adding the tag yourself. So if you click this drop down, you'll be given this nice big chunk of code, which you'll copy to your clipboard. And then you need to log in to the back end of your website. So you do need access to the back end of the website that you want to put this code on, right? So you'll need to, in this case, I've got a WordPress website, which I'm going to be using for the example, um, but I have access to the back end of this. So this is the website that we're talking about. This is my fake shop. Um, and I want to put my LinkedIn insight tag on here. Um, but this might be, you know, a business website or whatever it might be, B2B, B2C, whatever it is, we want to put the LinkedIn insight tag on this website. So you'll need access to the back end. And in the back end, um, you will need to get to the place where you can add, manually add code into the website head like tag. OK, so if we in this case go to appearance on, on um, WordPress and you go to the theme file editor, this is the way to do it on, on WordPress. But essentially, you will go to here and then you'll go down to the header PHP file. And then in here, you will see this is the head tag I'm talking about. OK, so this is the head of your site. So this is basically in the code. This is the, the kind of top part of your code, as, as it were. Um, and we have the closing header tag here as well. So on this row 19 here, I'm going to paste that LinkedIn Insight code in. So I've just pasted that LinkedIn Insight code in. You can see here. OK, this is all of that. Um, and then if you scroll down on the actual page, update the file. That should be installed on our website. So if I go to the home page now, one way to check is you can go to uh, view uh, page source. And here's the code of the page. So once again, obviously you can see a line through, you can see that head tag there. Um, and then if we do a quick find, we'll just type in LinkedIn. And you can see that here, our LinkedIn, um, our LinkedIn uh, insight tag is here, this code that we pasted. So it's all live on the site. A second way to check um, that you, you can also check is that there's different Google Chrome extensions that you can download and use to check things like this. Um, one of the ones that's good um, that I've used in the past for checking LinkedIn Insight Tag and other things is a one called Wappalizer. And you can see here that um, Wappalizer is even, even finding that as well. Good thing to also check is that we're on our homepage at the moment, but but also check around your site on different pages just to see if it's also firing, which it is in this case. So that's all good. So that's the manual way to do it. Like I said, if you've got a Squarespace site or a um, Shopify or a Wix site, then it's pretty much the same thing. All you've got to do is be able to edit the, well, basically paste in 
um, to the head of your site. So you just need to find the area where you can do that. So I'll put a link and I'll put a guide for different sites in the description of this video. Um, so if you go to our blog post, I'll show you about this, then I'll, I'll show you where um, you can actually uh, input this code in different websites like Squarespace and everywhere else. This also might be different for WordPress websites. If you are running um, certain page builders like uh, Divi or Elementor, or sometimes you even have you, people also have plugins that they use to actually um, inject that code into the header for them. Um, so there are other ways in which you can do this on WordPress as well. Um, this is just one way. I'll, I'll include a few other um, examples for things like Elementor and things in, in the blog post. Right, moving on. How do we do this with Google Tag Manager? So I'm going to take out that code that we put in, which I believe was from number 19 here. And I'm going to remove that and update that file. So I've removed that code um, because now we're going to move on and actually install that code or insert that code using Google Tag Manager. So. Google Tag Manager is a really good way to uh, implement um, tracking pixels, marketing pixels, um, you know, tracking codes, all different types of things on, onto your um, marketing tags, all different types of things onto your website. Um, in this case, I have Google Tag Manager installed on my site. So you need to have Google Tag Manager already installed on your website, which is similar to how we just done it before you just need to install it once and then you can implement things like linkedin insight tag through google tag manager or using google tag manager so if we go back over to the linkedin um, campaign manager and we select the option for i will use a tag manager to install our linkedin insight tag all we need to do is copy this code right so this partner id so it's 4465820 so we just need to copy this number and then with google tag manager it makes it super simple for us right so i'm going to show you i've already just um added this before but um i'm going to show you again right add a new tag and then you call it you know link linkedin inside tag oops Insight tag and it's going to be firing on all page views. And then if you search in the tag type LinkedIn, LinkedIn already have a predetermined template tag that you can use, if that's what you can call it. Then all you need to do is paste that number there. That's no code or anything. And then all we have to do is set up our triggering. So then the next thing is triggering. Where do we want this tag to fire? Well, we want it to fire on all pages and then save. Once you've saved that, you can then submit that and then call it a descriptive name. Same thing again added publish make sure you publish um anything that you so go through to make sure you've actually because then that's actually the live version now that's going on the site and then refresh and then do the same checks that we did before again so you can either do the view page source or you can go to wapalizer or something similar and just check that linkedin insight tag is actually firing and that's it that's two really easy ways to um yeah, it's easy two ways to install the LinkedIn Insight tag. Now, as mentioned, if you've got Google Tag Manager on your website already, then you can install the LinkedIn Insight tag no matter what website you've got, right? Whether you've got a custom site, whether you've got, you know, one of these, um, you know, like WordPress or uh, Wix or no matter what you've got. Um, the each individual um, platform um so you say if you've got like a wix site you'll have a different it'll be different to how you put the code in for the manual way of installing your insight tag right for the manual way it'll, it'll be different depending on each site so it's it's always good to obviously look at the support pages and check um but i will give 
um, some examples in, in, in the main blog post to help you out. So anyway, I told you it was super simple, really easy. Let us know if you need any help in the comments. And um, yeah, we really hope that helps. Thank you.